Hola, hola! Hi, YouTube friends! Good morning! Buenos dias! This is Rai Rai with my husband travel buddy, Alan. We're here in one of the big four tourist destinations in southern Spain, the city of Seville. Join us as we explore this awesome place. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe! From Cordova, we will travel to Seville. It is one and a half hour via train, and we will be traveling early in the morning around 6. We arrive at Cordova Railway Station, and this is the only resto that is open. So while we're waiting for our departure time, we'll have breakfast first. See how Alan is preparing his brekkie? He put olive oil on that toasted bagel and pour on that sauce. Hmm, let me try that too. After a few minutes, we're finally boarded on the train. We haven't even noticed the time, and we've finally reached our destination, the city of Seville. I'm so excited to explore this place. That's why we just left our luggages at the hotel, the El Rey Moro Hotel Boutique, and went straight to start the city exploration. So here we come! Oh, same as Cordoba, there are also a lot of orange trees here in Seville. You can spot them anywhere. We're lucky that our hotel is just a walking distance to the center of the city, so it will be easier for us to explore. On the left, you see this wall? This is the Alcazar. We're gonna check on it later. Can you see that gorgeous church? That is the Cathedral of Seville, or they call it as the Cathedral de Santa Maria de la Cid. And it is the largest church in the world, after St. Peter's Basilica in Rome and St. Paul's Cathedral in London. It is just in front of the Alcazar. Oh my goodness, it is awesome beautiful. This Cathedral of Seville was built on the site where once a Moorish mosque built by the Almohad stood. This mosque was taken from the Moors in 1248 and was then used as a cathedral. In the 13th century, the mosque was destroyed except for the Patio de los Naranjos and the Giralda Tower. One of the famous activity here in Seville is to ride on a coach or carriage. It is a horse-drawn carriage tour, which is a very popular attraction in Seville. It's a great experience to get an overview and orientation of the city, especially if you are short of time. Actually, we will stay here for two nights, but I just want to maximize the experience and try this thing. For those who want to try this, it will cost you 45 euros, but it's worth it. We're on the coach. Hola. Hola. We're roaming around. Buen dia. Buenos dias. Moreover, the driver will give an explanation of the monuments and sites you see. But he already told us prior to the tour that he's not good speaking in English, so it's okay. We're just gonna enjoy the sight. In the Philippines, they have similar to this, and they call it calesa, or caromata or caritela in Spanish. 
The only difference is that this one is a four-wheel and the Kalesa is a two-wheeled horse-drawn carriage. It is commonly vividly painted and decorated to make it more attractive to tourists. From here, I can see the Torre del Oro. The Torre del Oro or Tower of the Gold is a tower from the 12th century located on the Guadalquivir River. At that time, it was part of the Moorish city wall of Seville and once served as a storage place for gold and as a prison. Now it houses a small maritime museum. Seville or Sevilla is the capital and largest city of the Spanish Autonomous Community of Andalusia and the province of Seville. It is situated on the lower reaches of the river Guadalquivir in the southwest of the Iberian Peninsula. This is the Palace of San Telmo or Palacio de San Telmo. It's a historical edifice in Seville, southern Spain. Formerly, the Universidad de Mariantes, a university for navigators. Now, it is the seat of the presidency of the Andalusian Autonomous Government. Seville has a municipal population of about 690,000 as of 2016 and a metropolitan population of about 1.5 million, making it as the largest city in Andalusia, the fourth largest city in Spain, and the 26th most populous municipality in the European Union. Its old town, with an area of 4 square kilometers, contains three UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the Alcazar Palace Complex, the Cathedral, and the General Archive of the Indies. We're about to enter the Maria Luisa Park, or Parque de Maria Luisa de Sevilla. It is the most famous park of Seville. Originally, this park was part of the gardens of the San Telmo Palace. But in 1893, the gardens were donated to the city of Seville with the aim of creating a large public park. The Parque de Maria Luisa is adjacent to the famous Plaza de España. This square was built for the Ibero-American Exhibition of 1929. The gardens, in turn, got a more central role in Seville. On the other side, the green gardens border the river Guadalquivir. The French landscape architect Nicolas Forestier and the Spanish architect Anibal Gonzalez were allowed to redesign the park and design some special pavilions, and that includes the pavilions of the United States, Argentina, Mexico, Guatemala, Colombia, and Brazil. Grande y bonita. This is Plaza de España. It is one of my top travel bucket lists. It is the most famous square in Seville and most visited by tourists. It was created for the Ibero-American Exhibition in 1929 to symbolize peace with the former colonists. A highlight of this Spanish square are the 52 benches with Andalusian tiles that represent all Spanish provinces. See how amazing it is! It is so beautiful! I can't believe I am here! This is one of my dream places! My dream came true! This is one of my travel bucket lists! Plaza España in Seville! Look at it! It's so beautiful! Oh! Flamenco, flamenco. Flamenco de la calle. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. 
over here in Plaza España, Seville, Spain. This Plaza is one of de España. Plaza de España, primera posición, 1929. 1929. Can you hear me? preocupado oficina de gobierno. Sí. Sí. I'm so happy and overwhelmed that I've seen Plaza de España in Seville. But this is not over yet. For sure, I will be back and I will take more pictures of it. There are more beautiful establishments that can be seen here. As per our coach guide, these are the government offices, including the tourism office, embassies of different countries, and some big hotels. of Sevilla is a string of historic gems with styles ranging from Gothic to Baroque, Renaissance, and Mudéjar. We're going back now to the central plaza where the cathedral is. This is a good way to have a quick overview of the city. Thanks to you, Mr. Tour Guide. Even if you don't speak English well, we do understand you. Gracias, Señor. So we're back to the central plaza of the city. And again, we've seen this majestic, beautiful Cathedral of Seville. Let's take more photos for remembrance. Smile! This ends our initial exploration of the city. Watch for our next video as we enter one of the UNESCO's World Heritage Site, the Alcazar Real de Sevilla. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, click on the notification bell, and share! Bye-bye! Adios!